an epidemic. It's spiraling out of control. Fast moving and now even more deeply troubling. This could be getting a little scary here. We don't want to be a nation of fear. Ebola, what a mess. Is going to get worse before it gets better, but right now, the world still has an opportunity to save countless lives. In August 2014, two American health workers flew from Liberia to Atlanta, arriving in hazmat suits. They had contracted Ebola, a deadly virus that was quickly spreading across West Africa. In West Africa, Ebola is now an epidemic. It's spreading faster and exponentially. The chances of an Ebola outbreak here in the United States are extremely low. But just three days later, a Liberian man traveled to Texas and within a few days was diagnosed with Ebola. Tonight, the first confirmed case here in America. Sending chills through much of the U.S. tonight, there are worries that patient zero in Dallas could be just the beginning. The Liberian patient later died in the hospital and the virus spread to two nurses who had cared for him. As soon as somebody is diagnosed with Ebola, we want a rapid response team, a SWAT team, essentially from the CDC to be on the ground as quickly as possible. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't. Do you think the CDC has your back on Ebola? You don't want us to panic. How about I don't want us to die? Has the administration's Ebola response been botched right from the beginning? The American people feel very unsafe right now. They feel like they don't have a commander in chief who's in charge. This kind of cavalier attitude that we've been sensing. ISIS militants may infect themselves with Ebola and fly to this country to kill us Westerners. Ebola <clears throat> on the backs of ISIS could come through our border. The Ebola scare reached its peak just three weeks before the 2014 midterm elections, and soon-to-be presidential candidate Donald Trump was in the middle of it. President Obama would not stop the flights, so now we've got Ebola. That He thought it was a bad idea to bring these patients back. From West Africa, we should not allow people to come in, period. The CDC should be ashamed of themselves. In the race for the Senate, some candidates tied Ebola to border security and ISIS. We've got an Ebola outbreak. We have bad actors that can come across the, the border. We need to seal the border and secure it. We have ISIS. We have Ebola. We have to secure the border. Again, this all goes back to ISIS, Ebola with Ebola, ISIS. Well, again, the Ebola uh, epidemic along with ISIS. In New Hampshire, Scott Brown went so far as to say Ebola wouldn't be an issue had Mitt Romney been elected. Gosh, can you imagine if, if Mitt was uh, in the president right now? And I guarantee you we would not be worrying about Ebola right now. For many candidates, the narrative worked. Senator Roberts held on to his seat in Kansas, Tom Tillis won his race in North Carolina, and Republicans nationally increased their majority in the House and won control of the Senate for Obama's final two years in the White House. Senator Roberts, who had plainly politicized Ebola in 2014, ISIS, Ebola, has approached coronavirus very differently. Uh, there's a lot of partisan elbows out there right now. We don't need to politicize a pandemic. Just shut up about the politics. Senator Tillis, too, has a very different tone today. It's very clear that the president doesn't know what to do yet. There's a lack of competence. The missteps on dealing with the Ebola cases. President Trump has taken critical steps to assist with domestic containment efforts. I know the CDC is working hard. I don't know that they're working smart. Please be sure to follow the CDC's guidelines to help keep you and your family healthy. Inside the U.S., fear of Ebola spread far and wide, while the virus itself was well contained. Those two nurses in Texas recovered. Our patient is free of Ebola. They're still the only two people to contract Ebola inside the U.S. Six years later, Americans are once again gripped by fear of a virus. This novel coronavirus has already killed more people in three months than Ebola has in the 44 years since its discovery. But as coronavirus grew into a pandemic, rather than stoking fears like they did six years ago, Republicans following the lead of President Trump downplayed the danger it posed for weeks. The difference in their reaction has nothing to do with science or public health. Coronavirus is more easily spread than Ebola, and it's proven a far greater threat. Instead, the difference boils down to politics and rank hypocrisy. When Barack Obama was president, criticizing the administration's handling of Ebola made for a potent line of attack on the campaign trail. But today, Republicans are driven by a different, if achingly familiar, political imperative to march in lockstep with Donald Trump a calculation whose costs have yet to be tallied, but will surely be steep indeed.